Hello everyone, welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend, the weekend of Friday, January 24th through Sunday, January 26th. Please keep in mind that, that the time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the weekend of the 24th through the 26th, it does not mean it has to resonate at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading, then that is a message for you at that time. But keep in mind that it may not necessarily make sense in the moment, okay? So if you're guided to watch, watch a reading and you, you felt like there was a reason for it potentially, but it's not quite making sense yet. Give yourself some time, let it settle, maybe come back to it later, and it'll probably make more sense later on, right? Also, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate for everyone, and it may not be a, mes a message for you at this time, okay? So or at all so just you know take it as it resonates and please do not try to fit something into your life that doesn't naturally fit okay um so you guys get to spend the whole weekend with me because yesterday i recorded a, another installment of the getting to know your or connecting with your inner masculine and feminine energies a number of people asked me if i was going to do those again um and so i decided to do so now if if you watch the reading you'll get an explanation of this but i'll just i'll give you a little rundown here the reason why I stopped doing them was because I wanted to start doing the Twin Flame Mirror readings again. And those are similar topics, right? But I felt like, or and so, I felt like it would be oversaturating the channel if I was doing both the Mirror reading and the getting to know your inner masculine or connecting with your inner masculine, inner feminine. Um, but someone asked about it, a number of people asked about it, and then I finally like threw out there what my, my thoughts were. and. Um, the point that the person made actually re made a lot of sense. So, uh, and she said that they were they were just really helpful. So, uh, I mean, that's what this channel is here for, is for it to help. So I have that, I recorded that yesterday. That is going to be released on Saturday. And then I'm recording a mirror reading for the Twin Flame Collective today. And that's gonna be released on Sunday. So you get a weekend full of me. Yes. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. I'm super excited. The getting the the connecting with your inner masculine, inner feminine readings were really good. Were really, really good. A lot of some really good stuff came out. So I'm excited for you guys to see that. And I'm excited to see what comes through in the mirror reading for the Twin Flame Collective today. That's gonna be exciting. Yes. Um yeah, those are all the announcements that I have for today. So let's get into the energies for today. I don't know, or for this weekend, I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> okay but the energies are pretty intense like i i was trying to shuffle the cards and get a pre-shuffle and i just kept like either like throwing the cards everywhere or the cards just didn't want to shuffle or like they did shuffle and then in the middle of me like you know i do the parlor shuffle and then the bridge to pull them all back together but in the middle of the bridge it all would just fly out and and it's like what the hell is going on with the collective here today and a lot of the time, this emperor energy was coming out. So I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm hearing this is the divine masculine. Um, feeling not too sure of himself. That's what I just heard. Um, feeling scared. Ego's getting in the way. Um, I don't know what's good. It's just the energies this weekend, for this weekend, at least or for today or whatever. It's just really intense. And I really don't know what to say about it. So I don't have a pre-shuffle. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get into it and we're going to see, well, okay, also I do want to say the first time the Emperor came out, it came out with the King of Pentacles, but that was with a ton of other cards and I was not about to read like a whole novel during just the pre-shuffle, okay? And so now the Emperor has landed back on the top of the deck and this time it's with the Queen of Pentacles on the other side of the deck. So we could be dealing with, um, we could be dealing with the energies of counterparts as in like the king and the queen of pentacles the queen's back is kind of turned and i'm hearing the the emperor is a little bit frantic about it although what i feel like here is the queen of pentacles or the feminine here is just she's got her poker face on like she's not trying to show too much and it might be tearing the emperor apart 
where she may have been super expressive um maybe maybe at one point she was really all over him she was really watching him blah 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 now she's not doing that so much and maybe he's kind of wondering why um i feel like it's kind of making him a little bit nervous but there's nothing to worry about especially <laughs> Especially if we're talking in terms of like counterparts or twin flames. Something that I just got here was, um, excuse me, sir, but isn't this exactly what you asked for? So why are you freaking out about it now? <laughs> oh, man, because he doesn't know what to, what to do with himself. There, there probably was a point in history between in the history between the two of you where, yeah, he may have gotten like really upset about, you know, the clinginess and whatnot, whatever, but... To be honest, he really kind of liked it on some level. <laughs> but it was toxic. So that's why it had to stop. You know what I mean? But maybe you're coming to terms with the fact that you did actually like that, you know, your feminine was all over you all the time. <laughs> and now she's not doing it anymore. But for healthy reasons. For healthy reasons. It really is for healthy reasons. It's not it's not because she's trying to like be spiteful or anything. At least that's not what I'm picking up on. <clears throat> that's not what I'm getting from that Queen of Pentacles energy. It's that she's she's holding her own. She's focused on her own life. She's focused on what she, it is she needs to do for her life, her mission, whatnot, whatever. That does not mean she doesn't think about you, masculine. It doesn't. It just means that she's taking care of business for herself, which is exactly what you want her to do, right? <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get into the rest of the sea here and see what we've got. <sighs> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve our highest good and the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday, January 24th through Sunday, January 26th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids, I'm seeing green here. This is really nice, but, but this is a continuation of us being in that heart centered space and you know something that's coming through here for the masculines out there um that are you know indicative of or, or indi uh, uh, are represented here by the emperor um i feel like you're really in your heart space in a brand new way right now for whomever i'm channeling for or maybe whomever is watching this and that's kind of making you a little frantic that may be why you're feeling a little bit clingy or you want a little bit of that clinginess back because you understand it from a different point of view now you're not solely in your solar plexus or your root chakra where you're just focused on your yourself your wants your desires your needs your willpower your goals blah 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 you, you know your career your business whatnot i mean that is still a part of your focus but also there's a level of compassion empathy understanding and feeling and love that you're kind of experiencing now from a whole new point of view being within your heart chakra and now you're looking back on those days and you're and it's almost as if you're kind of like wow i wish i wish she would talk to me like that again i wish she would message me all the time again i wish she would watch my stories all the time again i wish she would follow me again i wish it, but it's not like she's not doing that it's just she's she's learned the lesson and keep in mind guys i'm not talking about gender here i'm talking about energy between the masculine and the feminine counterparts but it's just she's in a much healthier space and it's not to say that you're not in a healthy space masculine it's just that you're seeing it from a different point of point of view at this at this point and so you're kind of you're kind of wishing you could have that back just because you you kind of you kind of wish you could have appreciated at the, appreciated it more at the time but don't worry about it this doesn't mean that she doesn't love you any 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 less or anything like that she may even want to do all those things that you want her to do again but she understands that that's not necessarily coming from a healthy place so she's not really trying to give in to that okay that's interesting i don't know okay cool <laughs> all right i'm gonna give this three shuffles here <clears throat> one two 
two. Ooh. I'm not gonna take that out. And three skis. Okay, kids, let's see what we've got for our weekend. Bear with me, guys. Weekend edition. Weekend edition. Okay, stop there. We're gonna stop there. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Overall. Oh, whoa. Okay, you guys. We are talking counterparts here. Overall energy is that king of pentacles. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Wait till you see what's on the other side of the deck. You have the king of pentacles here, and you've got the two of cups there. All right, so, and this is the side of the two of cups where it is, um, it's daylight. So this is conscious awareness of a, I'm, I literally just heard conscious awareness of a loving relationship. And then you've got the king, the queen to that king. There you go. There's the queen of pentacles here. And that was the first card that came out that I, that almost didn't come out, but spirit told me to, to pull it out. Okay. So I'm going to put this here for a second. Cause I want to, I want to see what the rest of, cause this is the storyline right here. And I did. Okay. So we have the four of cups. Ooh, we have the queen of wands. We have the wheel of fortune. We have the queen of swords. We have the nine of wands. We have the ace of pentacles, the six of wands, the hermit, hi Virgo, and the page of pentacles. Okay, we're, we're literally telling this story over and over again. So what's the difference here? Because we have a situation in which there is, we have the Four of Cups. I guess, okay, so I guess we need to explain this for some people that might be new to the journey or might be new to this, uh, this phase of the journey here. We could, uh, you, if you want to call this Twin Flames, if you want to call this Divine Counterparts, I, it doesn't matter what it is. This is just the story, the, the, the dance between the masculine and the feminine. So we have Four of Cups, Queen of Wands with her back turned, and the Wheel of Fortune. So, um, and this side of the Wheel of Fortune does kind of represent, you know, the cycles of death and rebirth here. Um, and that's kind of what I'm getting with this. The Four of Cups is unrequited love, missed opportunity, boredom, whatnot, whatever, and thus the Queen of Wands turned her back. Someone that was really passionate about the situation or about a situation at once, at one time in the storyline. Can we focus, please? Why are you being so damn difficult? Give me a second, guys. Um, someone that was super passionate at one point has in fact turned, whoops, turned their back. Okay, but that, but okay, so this is for some of you, for some of you that have maybe recently entered some sort, it still doesn't want to focus. Good God. All right, fine, whatever. I'm just, I don't care. <laughs> for some of you that have recently entered some sort of separation phase, um, there are some specifically some feminines out there that are needing to hear this. And actually, if this, if you're a feminine out there and you are resonating with this, then I really encourage you to watch the um, connecting with your inner feminine reading that's going to come out tomorrow because we were actually, I was actually talking about this part of this message came out. But some of you have recently entered the separation phase and by you turning your back and going within and, and doing what it is that you need to do for yourself, you are in fact changing the karma of the situation, changing the karma for yourself. You're influencing your counterpart to make some changes on their own as well. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, reassurance is what I just heard. You needed to know that. Okay, so look, and this is just a continue. And I mean, this is literally the. I mean, I, 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 we have six other cards here, but it all just came through for me. I understand it in this way, just from the top three cards. But then we move to the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. By laying down the law of your domain, right? By saying I will not accept X, Y, or Z. 
um, by going it within. I feel like this is mostly for the feminine here. This really is mostly for the feminine. And if you're a masculine that's watching this, then, okay, you're probably going to gain a, a good amount of insight too. But I really kind of feel like we're talking to the feminine here because there are still some feminines out there that really need to make some hard, fast cuts of some situations or some things in your life that are no longer necessary to your journey, that are holding you back, that are keeping you down, that are bogging you down that are keeping you from really truly healing and creating, starting a new life for yourself. You really have to make some cuts, some necessary cuts to get some of this influential energy out of your system, okay? And I'm getting this from the, the, the Queen of Swords, yes, but also the Nine of Wands, which is in, the, in, the, in between the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. And here in the Nine of Wands, you see a depiction of someone, of this gentleman being coaxed into this cave by this, by this woman. Um, and this is not like a stranger danger situation. This is like, come with me and come heal. Okay, you've been fighting long enough. It's time for you to heal. So I see this as like a little bit of a cocooning phase, right? Um, and so that is also part of this twofold message here in the sense that feminine, when you disconnect and when you go within and you start to really do your work, you influence the masculine to do so your masculine counterpart to do so. Why? Because you guys are energetically connected, <clears throat> okay? So even if masculine, even if you're the one that's a little more awakened here and, and blah, 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 whatnot, whatever, and you're needing to pull away and go through and do your healing work, you influence your feminine to do the same, okay? It's a, it's a symbiotic relationship. Is that the right word? I think it's the right word. But you two are part, two parts. I mean, your whole beings regardless of the other individual, but you are still part of the same soul, I guess we could say it that way. I'm not sure. I don't really know how to describe it anymore. It's just gotten so convoluted. But the message here or the point here is that when you go within, when you, when you go into this cocooning phase, when you cut the necessary or the unnecessary things out of your life, that gives you the opportunity to create a whole new reality for yourself with the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And then looky here. There you go. You have the Hermit in the very center, which is representing, which is, which represents that, that, that cocooning phase, that Hermit phase. The Six of Wands is victory. The Page of Pentacles is a level up, is a new physical reality, is a new start. But... There, okay, so there must be some there must be some individuals out there that I'm channeling for here that are fairly new to this concept, to this journey, to this understanding. Um, you may not be that new to the journey itself, but maybe you're just now getting to the point where you can start to see it for what it truly is and understand the situation from a, deep, a, a much deeper level. And actually, I just did a reading for someone a few days ago that has been following me for a long time. I've been doing readings for them for quite some time. But the, the message of that reading was you have got to do this for yourself. You can't, and, and that's a big message. That's a big part of this whole like divine counterpart situation. Whether you want to call, consider it a twin flame or not, or whether you're just, whether you are on a twin flame journey, or whether you just want to like align with uh, a divine partner like you want to allow the universe to play matchmaker for you and and be the, the best version of yourself that you can be so that you can align with someone that is like the ideal partner for you right i would call that a divine partnership and even if you're not on the twin flame journey i really will feel like anybody anybody that wishes to have that sort of relationship can in fact align with it but the thing about it is, you guys, you have to do the work to get there. This is not a, to your typical 3D codependent relationship. No, you're going to have to come to a sense of independence. You're going to have to come to a sense of wholeness within, which means you are going to have to do the work. You are going to have to do the healing work to get yourself to that place. You've got to clear away all the baggage. You've got to be closer you have to be more connected with yourself you've got to go within and 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 heal and find out your own truth you can't you can't expect to be in a divine partnership you can't expect the, the universe to 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 play matchmaker for you while you're still f 
putzing around in three low di low low vibrational three dimensional mindsets or or relationship statuses or relationship um 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 structures i'm hearing this is literally this is literally the the the, the story of how <clears throat> the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles to come together but from a much more higher vibrational point of view i just heard that. that's that's really cool it's really cool so what i'm hearing here for some of you i need you what, what you need to hear is you need to take this passion that you have with the queen of wands and you need to turn it inward you need to become passionate about yourself which changes your dynamic and to be quite honest when you're passionate about yourself the way you're passionate about maybe some some individual in the external then it's easy it's really quite easy for you to say whoa whoa i i won't accept that queen of swords okay I mean, this is a pretty, it is a pretty tough, it's a tough pill to swallow. I'm not going to lie. Because we, especially, there are so many people out there that are trying to get up on the, like, the twin flame bandwagon, but they're not willing to actually do the work that's required. And the, the, the most, were, the most required the, mo the one thing that is required the most of you is for you to stop focusing so much on the external or stop focusing so much on this one individual and like ranting and raving about how he or she just can't get it together and they're holding me back and I'm tired of waiting for them, blah, 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 blah. No, that's not the point. No one was ever telling you that you need to wait for someone to get their act together or get their shit together before you can move on with your mission. Honey, you you need to start moving on with your mission right now if this is what you really want then go for it and to be quite honest if that takes you away from this individual and you never see them again or they never come back into your life or you're never guided to 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 or or you never like realign with them then that was never that wasn't the right individual for you to begin with you could see that as more of a catalyst then so if that's the case be grateful. Say, wow, you know what? This didn't turn out the way I thought it was going to, but thank you for catalyzing me into getting into this position because now I'm in the position where I can continue moving forward and really uh, align with a divine partner. That's right for me. Okay? And and the ego is going to sit here and tell you, oh, well, you were wrong, you were wrong, blah, blah, blah. It's really not about being wrong or right. There is no such thing as right or wrong. There is only experience in, and perception. At least that's the way I see it. And I'm not trying to say that my way is the only way. I mean, like you believe what you you have every right to believe what you want. I mean, there is that such thing as free will. But the way I see it, there is no right or wrong. There is only experience, perception, and perspective. That's all. That's how I see it. Okay. Hmm. All right, so let's, um, I don't even want to break this apart. I really just want to, I just want to get some, I want to look deeper into this and pull out some more messages for this, in, uh, in, from this for you. Um, maybe get some, some messages for the masculine here too, because that was mainly for the feminine right there. But again, masculine, I'm sure you, if you're paying attention, if you're resonating with this, then you're gaining some insights as well. So this could be why the queen has, the queen of pentacles has turned her back to you, or seems like she's got her poker face going, or she's focused. It's not that she's turned her back to you. It's that she's focused elsewhere right now because she has her own healing that she needs to do, or she's been in that energy of doing her own healing. One more shuffle here. Okay. Here we go. So let's get a little... I'm just going to... Overall, what, what else can we get from this? Let's look a little deeper here. What other messages are in this for you? I knew the Hierophant was going to come out. Oh my god. I 
I really love the way the Hierophant is depicted in this deck. But looky here, we have the Queen of Wands again. Okay, so this is mostly, I'm going to be honest with you, this is mostly, it's still a message for the feminine here. Feminine, you have got to find this sense of confidence, exuberance, sexiness, charis uh, charisma, um, social butterfly status, this magical nature. You have to get yourself into this receptive mode. I see the Queen of Wands as like a physical embodiment of the law of attraction because she's so magical and, and magnetic. She just, whatever she wants or needs, she just draws it towards herself okay and that's where you need to be here so what do we have we have the ten of pentacles we have the three of pentacles we have the four of cups we have the knight of pentacles we have the hierophant and then we also have the ten of swords the five of swords the hermit yep and the knight of wands okay so let's talk about this first um Excellent. So what this really is saying here with the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups, there are many of you right now in the feminine collective. It could be the masculine too, but I really feel like this is strongly, very strongly for the feminine. Um, there are many of you that are missing out on an opportunity to better yourself. You are missing out on an opportunity to close out a... I'm hearing major overarching cycle or major karmic cycle. You're you're missing out on a, on a on an opportunity to close out a life a major life lesson for yourself, all because you basically because you don't want to do the work. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is exactly what it feels like. It's like the universe is handing you an opportunity to better yourself, and that is coming through in the form of people, uh, uh, situations, and circumstances, and and you know partners potential mates it could be your your divine masculine it could be your twin flame it could be a divine par a partner uh, a divine counterpart it could even be a karmic partner a karmic soulmate that has a lesson that you've been needing to learn that's been trying to teach you but you're kind of ignoring this offer okay and some of you you're ignoring it because it's a it's going to be a slow and arduous process it's not necessarily something that's just going to happen overnight with this um with the knight of pentacles here but slowly but surely you have got to learn this lesson and you're i mean or you're just going to be or or you're just going to be stuck where you are wondering why nothing's changing well nothing's changing because you're not doing any of the work to change internally okay i forgot there's one more card here oh shit it's the two of cups <laughs> But this is the ultimate goal here, you guys. If you really want to be in a relationship, in a good, balanced relationship, now is the time to release yourself of the toxic codependent energies. Because that's obviously not giving you the relationship that you want. And yet you're still just over and over and over. Just You just won't put this to rest. Five of swords, ten of swords. It's self-defeating self-sabotaging what needs to happen here is you need to go within and you need to do your own soul searching you need to do your own internal healing and go through this activation or or at least find the energy to find to to have this activation i see the knight of wands as an activation this is the hermit sorry guys this is the hermit with the knight of wands if my camera would focus there we go the hermit with the knight of wands and it's like when you go within and you do your healing, you do your soul searching, you face yourself, face your fears, face your challenges, face your wounds to heal them. And you get that done. You come bursting out the gate like a whole new person, ready to live life to its fullest, regardless of whether you have a partner or not. But it's in that moment that you are then aligned with that partner, Two of Cups. It's in that moment that you really embody this Queen of Wands energy that everything you've ever wanted and needed in life comes right to you effortlessly. Mm hmm you see guys come on now if you really want this then commit to it 
saying you want it and then just sitting back on your and then sitting back moaning and, and moping and bemoaning like oh, why don't i have what i want well you don't have what you want because you're not taking the opportunity to align with and get what you want well no i want to stay i want what i want but i want to stay here and get it that's not going to happen straight up and down that is not going to happen if you really want what it is that you truly desire, you are going to have to step out of your comfort zone. Three of Cups. Look at that. That comfort zone is the Three of Cups. Familiarity. Things that you already know. If you want something new, if you want something better than you, Honey Boo Boo Chow, you are going to have to expand your horizons. Ain't no other way around it. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. It's very much an energy of either put up or shut up pull up or shut up. I mean, well, however you want to like either get off the shit, uh, <laughs> shit or get off the pot. It's that kind of energy, you know? And I'm sorry if this is triggering to you, but also I'm not sorry if it is triggering to you, then this is a message you need to hear. And this is something that you need to work through. Please understand that, you know, this, uh, coming from me, this is coming with all the love in the world, but uh, and, and I apologize if, if some of you are finding this a little bit harsh, but at the same time, I, I'm not sorry. Because, you, girl, honey, you need to get up off your ass and do something. If you really want to make a change in your life, then make that damn change. If you really want to see a change in your life, then get up and start doing some work within. Start going within. Start healing yourself. Start facing yourself. Start facing your demons. Start facing your shadow. Go through that dark night of the soul a number of times, you know? That's the only way situations are going to change. That's the only way you're going to get better. It's only that's the only way that you're going to align with that which it is you truly desire. All right. And I, I, this is coming through in a certain way, and I don't want and masculines out there. I really don't want you to take offense to this. I don't want this to sound like you're weak in any way because you're not. But what I'm kind of what I kind of just picked up on was feminines it, there are some situations in which the masculine is actively waiting for you to get up off your ass and do something about this and in many cases it's the masculine that's playing these roles well like uh in many cases yeah it's the masculine that is especially if you're dealing with a true twin flame or a true like divine counterpart it's the masculine that is playing this role that is influencing you triggering you or pushing you into making these changes just like you're doing the same for him in a very different way, but you, but by you going within and doing your inner work and healing, you help influence him to do so in an energetic way. It's literally like you're kind of pulling him along, especially if you're in a true twin flame dynamic or a true t divine partnership dynamic. You, you're, you're two parts of the same soul, even though you're whole beings in and of yourselves, regardless of the other person, you're still part of each other and you influence each other. You feel each other, you experience each other's emotions, you hear each other's thoughts. I mean, it's, and it's not even like a creepy thing where you're trying to be in that space. Trust me, trust me. <laughs> okay, I'm not trying, I like, no, no, your privacy is your privacy, babe. You know what I mean? I'm really not trying to be up all up in your head like that. But it happens, it's natural. I really hope this is coming through. And I really love the fact that or I'm sorry, I hope this is getting through, but I love the fact that the Two of Cups came out, but it was the only card, well, was it the only card? I feel like it was the only card that was face down. It was face down for a reason though, because this is the end goal. This is the partnership, the union, the balance, but this needs to be found within first if you're gonna have that in the external. So while this, may, this is not necessarily the focus, External partnership, excuse me, is not necessary, does not need to, should not ever be the focus. Internal partnership needs to be the focus first. And then living from that space of internal partnership will bring you exactly what you want. Okay. But so, so I'm, I'm kind of glad that this two of cups fell out face down because ultimately this is just the end goal. And what you need to be focusing on is the journey, getting up off your ass, doing the work, and healing showing i just heard showing yourself who you truly are on the inside 
and believing in it, becoming it, becoming it, embodying that individual. Okay, that was a lot. So I'm going to go straight to the Oracle Guidance today. And the Earth Warriors caught my eye, so we're going to do that. Well, not today. I'm going to go straight to the Oracle Guidance now. What? Eric, stop, stop like second-guessing yourself, please. It's really not becoming. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Let's see, what Oracle Guidance do we have for the collective today? You know, or for this weekend. You know, it's really funny because we started the session with talk, talking about the masculine energies. And then we just, after that, everything just went straight to the feminine. It's really interesting. Okay. Oh, one more shuffle, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Here we go. What is your oracle guidance for this weekend? Yes, so definitely for some of the feminines out there, um, especially for those of you that are resonating with this, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you watch both actually the, the uh, Connecting with Your Inner Feminine and Connecting with Your Inner Masculine readings that are going to come out on Saturday, that are going to be uh, released on Saturday because it's a very similar message, okay? All right, oracle guidance for the weekend, please hear it. Oracle guidance for the weekend. Woo! Just the, this one. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, well, I'm going to have trouble pronouncing this, so please bear with me and don't don't crucify me if I completely butcher the, this, but it's Estanatlehi. 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 Uh, it, it, it's this. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but it's card number two and it's turquoise changing woman. Come on now. You better, you better focus. Thank you. Turquoise changing woman. Interesting. Hold on. Let me get to the card page first. Okay. All right, here we go. You know what? I might, I very well may... Oh, look, they, know, they even tell us how to pronounce it. Oh, my God, yes, that's unique. I'm very happy about that. Okay, so this says, come on, focus, please. Can you, can you, can you? Uh, all right, well, it'll happen eventually, I guess. But you can see the card well enough. Okay, I am <clears throat> the turquoise, turquoise moon mother, and I come to you now with a message of change. This may be change that you want or change that you fear but either way i will show you how to use this change to be str become stronger wiser and more empowered to fulfill your divine destiny do not fear the changes around you and within you trust in the timing of what is happening in your world in the reading this says change is upon you it is essential for your continued growth and you do not need to fear it as you, as you allow for this change, remain steadfast in your inner spiritual connection. This gives you courage, trust, peace, and reassurance, and you will find ways to navigate the shift so that your life improves through the process. If you are thinking of making a change, you are encouraged to do so without trying to force it. Be open and do your part to the best of your ability but also tune in to your sense of divine timing, asking the universe for help and allowing life to unfold according to its own rhythm of creative, loving intelligence. Okay. I think I want to read a little bit of this um, spiritual guidance here. Okay, so I, I did kind of pronounce it right. So it's pronounced estanat lehi. Estanat lahi, estanat lahi, estanat lahi, estanat lahi, okay, is the turquoise moon goddess of the Navajo, known as Changing Woman. She is always changing and yet never dies. As she begins to age, she simply turns to walk to the east, the direction of the rising sun and beginnings, 
where she is renewed. Her blessings are for yes, her blessings are for nourishment, renewal of energy, and new beginnings. She brings hope and reminds us that life is constantly renewing itself around us and within us. We can always begin again in that spirit of renewal. In the face of loss or destruction, her presence brings comfort, hope, and peace so that rather than losing faith and giving up because we feel defeated, we have the courage to continue to fight for what matters with refreshed reserves of energy and enthusiasm. If we are struggling with change, either too much of it or perhaps too little of it, istanat lehi, <laughs> whatever, comes to us with reassuring guidance. When something is in need of repair, Great Spirit knows how to restore it. When something needs to end, Great Spirit will show the way to empty ourselves of the past and prepare for a new beginning. When there is lack or deprivation, the abundance and generosity of the universe shall bring fullness. We do not need to fear change, whether wanted or unwanted. We just need to trust in the good and loving works of the universe. Istanat Lahi reminds us of the divine feminine wisdom and power which expresses itself as life always flowing, always changing, always evolving. We belong to life and can trust it. Evolution is not always easy. Often it requires tremendous courage of heart and inner strength. Yet the turquoise moon mother will help us respond to any change in a way that increases love, light, and wisdom within the world. Turquoise changing woman is also known as the conqueror of monsters and the bringer of blessings, especially when we feel that we are under attack or lacking something that we need. She teaches us that it is safe to trust our unconditional faith. Please focus. There we go. Uh, she teaches us that it is safe to rest our uh, to safe our rest to our unconditional faith in divine grace. We make our efforts as wholeheartedly as we can, but in the gap between what we can do and what needs to be accomplished for beauty, peace, and healing to happen on this planet, divine grace is there as a bridge, the catalyst, the miracle worker. Grace does not do the work for us, but it does empower our efforts and assist us in fulfilling our purpose in ways the mind can rarely anticipate. Grace is the inevitable, invisible, excuse me, and empowering hand of great spirit reaching for us daily. Turquoise Moon Mother watches over us with a reminder that we are not in this alone, that the divine is our creative partner in all pursuits. We only need ask for help to be given to realize that this is already there, waiting for us to receive it. Beautiful. All right, kids, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a really fantastic weekend. Um, and I'm really excited for you all to see the, the readings that are gonna come out. So the uh, Connecting with Your Inner Feminine and Inner Masculine readings will be released on Saturday. And then on Sunday, the Twin Flame reading will be released. Mirror reading, yeah? So anyway, with that said, have I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee on Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>